Welcome to your garbage cryptocurrency market. I'm Randy with Altcoin Buzz Trading. The market just kind of sucks right now. I don't like it at all. I think this this is all garbage. Okay, let's dig into it and stay tuned for some of our movers of the day. Uh, first things first, BTC down just a little bit today off the heels of yesterday uh, coming down. I don't want to say super dramatically, but with within recent trend, finding support at um, the low from March 20th a few days ago. And we're building a small bear flag right now. Just move my trend line. Uh, building a small bear flag right now. But we're also getting some wicks of support. So trading right now is really up in the air. I don't think there's any major edge right now. I'm, uh, counter trend trading these lows is going to be tricky. And we haven't broken down through the bottom of these lows yet if you're looking to uh, have a breakout short. So really neither of those is a profitable situation at the moment. Uh, I do think the bias is to the downside and any pop like this when you're in these market environments is actually shortable. Um, let me get this drawing tool. These pops out of these little bases like this. So you see this one really never tried to pop. You, you just shorted the breakdown. Uh, this one you try to short the breakdown here, you get hurt. But when it pops up, once this fails, you can even draw a trend line across there. That could be sold with your stop being put above there. So there, there is some money to be made. Uh, but right now, you could argue the inverse, right? You could say that, well, that was a very straight mouse drawn trend line, right? Uh, hand drawn trend line right there. Um, you, you would argue that if this gets broken, the breakout is on. And then you would argue if this gets broken, you could take this same attempt and then short it with your stop wherever it ends. Hope I didn't go too fast for some of you guys out there. But um, in these environments, it's tricky because a lot of traders want to trade. But this is not a very easy trading environment. As a matter of fact, it's a very difficult trading environment. My advice really is to not trade. And as an individual trader, you don't have to be trading every day. You can wait for spots that suit your style. Not too many people's style is suited by this type of price action, okay? We're at the low part of a, of a larger range, and we're choppy down here. Uh, that's not really suitable for most trading styles. Small choppy ranges really aren't suitable for almost anybody. Everybody gets hurt in these environments. So uh, if you want to try to buy lows, you really want to try to buy these, these bottoms if you're going to do that, which most people can't and won't do very well. Okay. Um, other than that, you want to short, you want to short these bounces once they legitimately fail. And I just gave you a good example here with that about how to do that on any asset you want to. Okay, but about BTC uh, under the 50 day under my trend line broke it. I do think this market is going to be uh, garbage for quite some time, to be honest with you. All right, let's get to our movers of the day. And I don't know their names, but they are BitSensor, which is TAO, which I think we've talked about a couple times here uh, in the past. We talked about it on this big wick day up and then on this big wick day you know, on the next day on the way down. Uh, we caught this all the way up here, up towards the top, saying it was risky to buy up here. And it immediately reversed, and now it's reversing again. So, and remember what I just mentioned about um, shorting things as they pop. So, this thing failed to go higher here, okay? So, just wipe everything clear from your mind. Uh, I know this looks very dramatic, and it is, but there is a potential way to short these, uh, these really, really dramatic movers. Um, but everything's tricky. But bear with me because I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. So you've got, you've got a top here. You fail the top. Okay, that immediately within itself is a shortable event, especially in this market environment. All right, this thing going up by itself like that is a shortable event. It's not something uh, I usually do. It's not in my repertoire, but it is identified as a shortable event if you talk to a lot of tacticians out there. So immediate reversal. So then you're met with this downtrend. Okay, and then we mentioned anytime. You get something that, that pops up. Now, you could argue this little consolidation right here, this little tiny guy, you could argue this little tiny guy is a nice little consolidation. But again, the market sucks, right? So it pops up, and then you wait for that trend, you wait for that trend to fail, and then you short, and then you short it on the failure of the trend with your stop at the high. This is this is something that is repeatable in this market environment, but right now we don't have anything like that. You're looking at a breakdown continuation, which after such a, a long sequence of candles going in one direction, you don't want to short after a long sequence of candles going in one direction. You'd rather short on a large sequence of candles going in the other direction. Okay, so we're going up and then we stall. You want to short at the beginning of the down, not after it's been going down for a long time. 
Okay, because what's going to happen is you're going to come into support. You're going to come into support. And then where do you put your stop? There's no meaningful stop here. There's, there's just nothing. So a couple lessons to take away there. But uh, yeah, I do think that uh, there's there are trades in this situation. But today, I don't think is one of those days. And the other one is IMX. So this is down 13% today, pretty big. IMX um, says only down 3%. Doesn't say that on CoinGecko, but uh, this thing has been devastated already down to 200 day moving average on the daily time frame. This one does look like it's bear flagging out, but even these bear flags are pretty wide. And so that's why I'm saying there's not a lot of um, qualifiable action down here to really set up for trades. Um, bear flags can be good for trades. Here's a good bear flag. Anyone else spot it before I draw it? You got about three more seconds. Here's a decent little bear flag. Not the best bear flag in the world, but it's a decent little bear flag. Okay. It's a little wide, but not as wide as this. Uh, this is a much wider sequence. What's going on with my mouse on my desk here? It's all weird. Uh, but this is a decent bear flag. Again, pretty wide considering the preceding downtrend is fairly short. Uh, ideally, you would want this to go up uh, like that maybe. Uh, in terms of, ideally, this flag is, is no... Le no less, no more than one third the width of the flagpole, ideally. Okay, that's the ideal situation. This obviously is not that; it's about half. Um, but but again, down you know, so down here is this a bear flag? It's really wide for a bear flag. Most bear flags um, squat kind of short, which is what you want. Uh, same way with a bull flag. A good bull flag has a narrow range. A good bear flag should have a narrow range. We don't have a lot of narrow ranges right now. Everything is really wide. So be patient. Take your time. Uh, don't trade if you really don't have to and watch some charts. But that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I think the market is choppy to down for sure. Um, shorting pops is ideal. Anything else is extraordinarily risky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow on Aquan Buzz Trading.